What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house. I know I haven't done a discussion video in a long time. It's quite a shame. But oh, do I got a discussion today. Actually, this is not even discussion. This is about this is more of a rant rave of the most recent chapter. Well, if you don't read Fast Pass for Unordinary Chapter 167 episode, whatever. Who who gives a damn? Um, I'm pressed. Very very pressed. This, uh, I haven't been, like I said in the uh, the reaction, I haven't been this tempted to read a fast pass chapter ever. Like there have been, like the fight, like some of the fights, like starting out, like I wanted to fast pass, but like I was like I'll wait. But this right here, hold on, wait, 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 so make sure my necklace is good. This this shit here that happened in this latest chapter has made me so upset. It is ridiculous. Why am I upset? You may be wondering if you haven't read the chapter, which I don't know how you made it here if you didn't. But anywho, um, also, yeah, while we're at it, make sure you hit that sub button on the road to 1K. We're more than halfway there. I, I know y'all can do it. But anywho, so that, that's enough. So getting back into it. So yeah, the reason I'm so upset is because one, John hit Cecile in this chapter and two he pretty much blamed no he pretty much blamed uh, not Cecile Serafina for her losing her powers and all that and I'm like bro I'm like wait wait a minute like you know when someone's being out of pocket I'm like my dude just took off his pants and just said fuck it I'm just blaming everybody today he blamed the person he's supposed to be protecting the whole reason he did all this he stated it in this chapter too and everything I'm like bro I'm like how are you gonna blame Serafina for losing her powers if we want to get like real legit like technical I feel like Serafina would have lost her powers either way it went down at some point she would have lost the powers mainly for the fact that her ability is time manipulation still unconfirmed but unconfirmed confirmed whatever who gives a shit I need to stop cussing. I'm sorry. Anywho, so yeah, so sir, I feel like she would lost the powers anyway. But technically, it's kind of your fault because y'all went to the mall and you kind of made her take that the uh not that quirk uh test, but that ability test that you know to see how strong she was. And if I believe correctly, she didn't want to do it at first, but he kind but you kind of egged her on into doing it so to be honest it's your fault that she, uh she lost her ability and don't get me wrong i'm not turning on john i still i'm still standing with john via it be by a very very weak thread right now he he's at strike two he's at strike two right now with me um so if, if he if he crosses that one line if he hits seraphina then john john is then John is uh, going to be irredeemable in my eyes for a very long time. Uh, granted, I do know that John is, he's hes definitely not in his right mind. And, and especially, and also, y'all, this is a rant video, so I'm just going to be all over the place. But the one of the other parts that made me mad is that he also, he's now associating Serafina with Claire in the way that he thinks that Serafina might be plotting on him the way Claire did with his uh with all the students in New Boston and everything, which I mean, granted, I guess he's it. It's not warranted because Seraphine is not doing it at that at all. We as the audience know that obviously John doesn't, but he still should know. He's like, dude, you've been hanging out with her for like for since you've been in for 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 the most part since you've been at uh I said almost I almost said New Boston since you've been at Wellston like that sh that that. Like up until these recent events, she's been your girl. Like that's been your like your ride or die. Now like, you should know uh, more than anyone else that she would never plot on you like that. If she was going to do something, she would tell you straight up to your face. And you know that's always how she's been. She's pretty much a straightforward person. She doesn't like to mince words. She pretty much says what is on her mind. So for you to think that she would even dare to plot on you, especially with Arlo of all people, I mean. Granted, was Cecile? I still, granted, uh, Cecile. I still think she still should not have told him that she saw her Serafina and Arlo hanging out, and and especially the fact that they seem like they're getting like you know closer. It's already gonna drive him up the wall even more. So I feel like that was that she brought. She didn't bring. He shouldn't have hit her in general. John should have never put his hands on Cecile because she's 
for the most part. She 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 has had her own. She, no, she does have her own ulterior motives for wanting to get John in power and to you know have him run stuff. It's mainly it's to get back at Arlo for firing her and all that. And she wasn't happy with the current system. Right now, I knew it was going to backfire. I knew it from the jump. Uh, just, just on how John operated back in New Boston and everything. None of, none of this is really new to me. But the execution that is hap- the way it's happening, I got to give Urochan her props because it's really triggering me. Because, like I said, I knew this was going to happen. I knew full well that Cecile's plan was going to backfire if she thought that she was going to be able to run stuff from the shadows or something like that. And they're like, nah, John ain't, John ain't that type of person. John needs to be left alone to his own uh, devices. Just, you know, I mean, because once again, it's society's fault. The, the, biggest, the biggest problem with all these kids, besides the fact that they're kids, is society, the way it's ran. Society has taught them the weak are right. The, no, my fault. The strong are right and the weak are wrong pretty much might makes right which is not the case at all life should never be lived that way otherwise it it just wouldn't be worth living to be perfectly honest we all need to learn how to get along with one another be kind to one another and help each other out when you know what it needs to be done and do it with a smile on your face be like all might i am here you feel me but right now john's more like all for one all for one right now and not in the smart way, just in like a brutal way. Because I'm like, like I said, the main thing that triggered me, like I said, the two biggest things that triggered me in this chapter is John hitting Cecile for making sense. And then him also managing to blame Serafina for the loss of her, her uh, of her ability. That I'm like, bro, that's, that's brazy. Like after I got done with the chapter, the Jokers were already in a call because I had to do something else prior. But I hopped in, and I'm like, I, uh, Ty will tell you. Ty knows how pressed I am. <laughs> no, all of them know. Ty knows. Shaman knows. Digi knows. St- uh, Steph knows. Uh, J Meister knows. All of my homies know how pressed I am. Uh, and if you don't know, Cecile is my girl. Like, I love Serafina and John. I love them together. I ship them. But I also ship, I secretly ship John and Cecile. Bro, right now at this point, I, they need to take a break. <laughs> they need to take a break. John is going crazy. I couldn't believe that he hit her like that. And bro, and he drew blood. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with you? Who raised you? I'm like, where is your daddy at? Actually, where is your mama at? You don't know. You need both. Someone needs to whoop that behind. You need a whooping. You need to be putting time out, bro. A hug ain't going to do it no more. At first, I was like, just give him a hug. It'll be all right. <laughs> Bro, if you can't tell I'm not triggered by this, I don't know what to tell you, man. I am uh, I, I'm very incoherent right now. I can't really form uh, adhesive thoughts that can flow and everything. But, I mean, I'm trying not to cuss because I want to get monetized. Oh, even I don't make I don't make anything. I'm just saying, just for future references and everything. It's just crazy. Like, tell me, like guys, tell me what you thought about this chapter and everything. I just, I just really wanted to talk about it. I wanted to get my feelings out there while they were still kind of fresh, even though it's the next day or whatever. It's it was it's just been in my mind. It's just really it's just really been bugging me because I could not I could not believe that he he did this. It it it, it makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense, but it makes no sense because it's like, bro, where is your reasoning gone? It's like, I get you're upset. I really and truly knew that you get that you you are upset. And by all means, you have every right to be upset because you and like I was saying to uh, to Jay and all them. Like, Let me remind you, all I am not against John. Not yet. He's getting close. He's getting really close. But no, I am not against him, mainly for the fact that had they left him alone None of this would even be an issue. The issue was Serafina losing her abilities. I feel like that would happen no matter what, period. And but still, um, with John taking up the mantle as Joker or whatever a Tuesday Executioner, you know, whatever we were calling him, you know, before he officially came, before they officially named him Joker, it's technically it's Eisen and Arlo's fault. Mostly Eisen's because he started he started it, and Arlo pretty much kind of like finished it. Cause like, um, and we were like I said when I was talking with the Jokers, I said the biggest problem with most of the with most of our uh, characters in this show is most of them end up falling or failing 
to their own hubris. With Arlo, uh, I think Seamus said to, for Arlo it was arrogance. Um, I think Cecile, I would, I, I'm, 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 I can't remember everything he said, but Arlo was arrogance. I agree with him on that one. I'm going to say for Cecile, it was like either jealousy or greed. Um, with Eisen, it was cowardice. With Remy, um, Ty said her naivety. Uh, me and Seamus said it was just uh, ignorance. Um, Blake, I, I I can't think, but he, all of them have fallen to hubris, bro. And it's just like it's like I mean, like I said, man. I try and I try to remember that these are these are nothing more than high school kids. I mean, let's be honest. The mo- I think the oldest one. Is I think no none of them are no older than eighteen years old at best. Cause like, cause when I was a senior in high school, I was eighteen years old. If you want to know how, I mean, I tell you how old I am all the time. But I mean, I'm just saying, try to you can try to figure out from here <laughs> if you haven't found out yet. But yeah, man, it's this chapter really lit a fire underneath my behind. Um, so I'm definitely going to be making more discussions, mainly for the fact because I just like talking to y'all. I like hearing y'all thoughts. Like I said, tell me what you thought about this chapter. Tell me what you think uh, is going to happen in the future. And if you are a fast pass reader, uh, you know, just then go to my Discord down below and talk about it in the fast pass uh tab. It's always there. It's always open. It's free. Uh, but guys, like I said, uh, hit that sub button. Uh, let's try. Let's 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 get this on. Let's get this road to 1K there. I know y'all can do it. Y'all, like I said, y'all just kill my expectations on my videos every time, and I just I, I really appreciate it and everything. So let, let's 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 try and get this channel to 1K, and I'll make a celebratory video for it. I'll probably embarrass myself by dancing again, but <laughs> if that's what y'all want, I mean, I'll do it. Actually, I'll make a poll for it uh, of what I can do. I'll think of some ideas, and when we hit 1k uh i'll let y'all vote on it if i you know if i get that community tab i i think i should but uh but yeah guys i just really wanted to rant and rave i know this video was very incoherent and just like jumbly all over the place actually you know what no i'm not done forget that so um i want to talk about i want to talk about a little bit of last week's chapter mostly toward mo- it's gonna be like clip notes but i was proud of uh Blake and Remy for the way they uh, were, are approaching and handling the situation with the students dressing up as Joker. Um, what made me a little bit upset um, last chapter is what Eisen said about John because Remy was pretty much saying like we need to get all the you know all the top uh, tier people in the school and try and figure out what's going on. She said Arlo, uh, Serafina, Cecile, and she was about to say John when Eisen cut her off. And he was like, John, he's like, the whole, he's like, John did all this so he could watch the school burn. And I was like, no, John's doing this because you idiots kept uh, trying to put him back into the hierarchy. And now that he's back in it, he's running amok and y'all can't handle him. Like, so this is y'all's fault. Like, so don't, I'm like, granted, a lot of the stuff that's going on recently is John's fault. But I mean, at the end of the day, he tried to mind his own business. And y'all just wouldn't leave well enough alone. And I mean, now you're dealing with the consequences. And I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I'm mad at John for just like how he's going about it right now, currently where we are in this arc. But overall, I, I'm, I still, I don't blame him at all. I mean, so, I mean, I want to get that perfectly clear. I'm still on John's side via it be, like I said, by a very thin thread. But in my eyes, besides like like I said, the most recent stuff that's going on, like blaming Seraphina for the loss of her ability, um, hitting Cecile for speaking knowledge, because she was pretty much like, if you want Seraphina to be safe and you want her to trust you again, reveal yourself. And she even told him she was like, I'm pretty sure Cecile. I mean, Seraph. Uh, she's like, I'm pretty sure Seraphina has put two and two together. She's not stupid. She's one of the smartest, if not the smartest, student in the school because before you came along she was a straight a student granted she studied all day every day but still she's not stupid in the slightest and obviously like we know as the readers she has figured out that john is joker but john is just so wrapped up in trying to keep things away from her and trying to figure out how to keep her protected without him actually having to step in and so he can just chill out with her it's clouding his judgment beyond belief and like I do agree with Eisen said last chapter, I feel like whatever plan John had in the beginning is out the window. It's dead. It's gone. 
like I said, I feel like um, once he thought Serafina, once Serafina started ignoring him, anything he had planned went smooth out the window. Cecile might have, I mean, he might have worked with Cecile had Serafina not saw the fight and began to speculate or not even speculate. She knows now that he is Joker. We'd be having a, a, a very different story uh, arc, arc narrative right now. But, I mean, that's just me. That's my thoughts. That's my own Hey, Cannon, tell me what you guys think. Do you think if John... Do you think if Serafina never would have saw uh, uh, John take out all of the Royals and they were still, uh, you know, um, on good terms, would the story with how John's acting right now be different? I'm pretty sure it would, but tell me how you think it would be. I'm always, I always love seeing your comments, even though sometimes I don't always reply to them. I do read them. Just know that I do read every comment that I get, period, because I love seeing y'all reply. But guys, I'm done talking. This video is going to be long. It's been long enough. Hit that sub button, hit that like button, road to 1K. I know we can get it. 